Divine Faith 35, Genesis 1. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God hovered above the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness, and the light it called day, and the darkness it called night, and there was evening and morning the first day. And so on. Six days of creation, seventh day rest. Okay. So this world, planet Earth, and the cosmos, essentially, all the celestial bodies, I have a feeling that the cosmos is potentially finite. The universe is limited, uh, infinite, but the creations which God have made so far, I have a feeling there's possibly a cosmos. There's pos possibly a finite thing. I don't know for sure. But what I call a cosmos is all the galaxies added together and all the celestial bodies added together. He might be doing new ones all the time still. I don't really know for sure. That's considered the possibility in A&M thinking. But we know that God created the world, planet Earth, and the cosmos. He inhabits the universe, and he inhabits the cosmos, and he inhabits the world. And we know from Genesis 1 that God is a creator. God made all the structures on planet Earth, the plants, the animals, the soil, he made the light, light and darkness, of course. He made everything. God made everything. All creatures, great and small, God made them all. So we know that God, uh, and we know from our studies how, how intricate the designs of living systems are and, and non-living systems. It's a very complex, intricate, intelligently made structure of things, creation. It's very intricate and complex. It's very well designed and it works. So we know that God has power in creating and creating and molding nature, in working with energy and atoms and matter and things like that. Genesis 1 teaches that. God can do that. Having divine faith is acknowledging that God is the creator and that he can manipulate matter. But he's the one who knows how to do it best because he's God, because he's holy, because he's a decent God and knows how to manipulate and create best. He's the master. We do our own creations a lot of the time and creating sculptures and artwork and writing stories and things and doing quilting and all sorts of things we do. We do our own little creations as humans made in the image of God. But God is the master. God is the ultimate creator and having divine faith is acknowledging that he is the ultimate creator. Okay, so God knows how to work with the creation. Now, world expansion. It's primarily probably a world to come idea, but the, the idea has been prayed. I've prayed for world expansion. The thing to realize, first of all, is that God can do it because Genesis 1 teaches he can do it. It's perfectly normal to have divine faith that God can do it. The thing is, though, is it, as I've stated in Divine Faith 34, the previous video, it should be something which is not contra natura and something which is not sin. Now, that, that comes down to the justification for the argument that the world should be expanded. We know that God can do it, but is it, is it a good idea? Is it a good idea? My feeling is that people make people. They procreate. And the world population usually grows. I have a gut feeling. And my, my, my view, what I think is right, and this is, I suppose, righteousness from Daniel Daly, whatever you take that as, is that the world should expand to, to accommodate the ongoing population increase, the ongoing increase in society, which is normally there. Theoretically, if we're to live forever and we go on making babies, it's got to happen anyway. It's, it's something which just has to happen if we start finding eternal life on Earth. So I feel that world expansion is a justifiable thing. We know that God can do it. But is it a good idea? I think it is. It's part of the a and and I think it's a normal idea, especially potentially for world to come scenarios if a resurrection occurs. But regardless, I think world expansion is a justifiable doctrine and a normal idea, which is not really contra natura, 
because God is in charge of nature and is simply doing more of Genesis 1. I think it's normal enough.